sperm retrieval techniques there are various sperm retrieval techniques and this is required in patients if the husband is azoospermic means no sperm is coming into the ejaculated semen sample secondly it is also done in some patients in whom there is no ejaculation they might be ha having a ejaculated because when we use a electro ejaculator also and then also the sperm doesn't come then also we have to do these sperm retrieval techniques on them thirdly if the patient's dfi is very high the dna fragmentation index of the sperm and the patient has got history of recurrent iv failures and in these patients also many times they have to undergo tisa just to improve the quality of the sample of the sperm so like what happens in a sperm retrieval technique the patients are very much inquisitive about it and they are very much stressed out about it so because they feel that it's a very sensitive area and how these people are going to take out the sperms so there are basically three gross types of techniques like three techniques which we can say by which we take out the sperm one is called tisa tisa is the least invasive of them all in that we put a needle inside the testicular area and we take out we aspirate the sperm out of it the embryologist checks it in the lab and confirms whether they have got adequate samples or not otherwise we do multiple punctures and take out the sperm it is done under local anesthesia and it is usually a very less painful procedure secondly we go ahead with tz in tz we cut the area and we take out we try to hunt the sperm in the testicular tissue the tissue is in fact extracted out in a tz sample and is given to an embryologist and the embryologist processes it out and looks out for the sperms thirdly the procedure is called micro tz micro tz is a like a, it's a big boon for couples who have like they come with reports with no sperms in a fnac sample or a tz has been done and no sperms have been taken out in these kind of couples they can go ahead with micro tz in that the operating surgeon has got a microscope like a operating microscope on the eyes and with that they hunt for the sperms in your testicular tissue and then they give it to the embryologist so micro tz is a boon in patients whom like everybody has said look you have to go with donor sperm but still they have been able to go with their own sperm with a micro tz done on them so obviously they are very less sperms than micro tz but the like benefit of retaining your own genes is there in it so many patients do opt for micro tz and it is a good option for patients to retain their own sperm samples yadi aap is tarah hi health ke bare mein janna chahte hain to subscribe kare ye channel the health care today aur bell icon dabaye taki har naye video ka notification sabse pehle aapko mile